Welcome to a new video which is about inverse trigonometric functions. I already explained the subject in the previous video. So if this topic is new for you, I recommend you to check it out from my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you some challenging questions that you may encounter in the subject. Without further ado, let's get started. Here guys, we have our first question and in the question it says tangent of arc sine square root of 3 divided by 2 is equal to what? Let's call this, okay, inside the parentheses as x. Once we call this x, then actually the question becomes what is the value of tangent x? At the same time, we have arc sine square root of 3 divided by 2, and that is equal to x, guys. As I've been doing so far, here what you can do is you can just switch those values, right? This is what we were doing before. And once you do it, we're going to have sine x is square root of 3 divided by 2. And here, we all know that if you look at here, arc tangent, okay, our angle might be between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So it's obvious that it is equal to 60 degree. Why? Because sine 60 is square root of 3 divided by 2. 60 is actually pi divided by 3, right? But I recommend you to draw a triangle, okay? Such a triangle. And this is, let's say, 60 degree. If this is 90, and then, of course, the leftover is 30. So this is 30, guys. And just write down the lines here the line which is opposite of 30 is 1 the line which is opposite of 60 is square root of 3 the line which is opposite of 90 degrees 2 we all know this because this is a special right triangle and from here guys why i drop this because we are looking for tangent x right and suppose that we don't know what is tangent 60 because we see that here x is 60 right pi divided by 3 so actually it is obvious that we are looking for tangent pi divided by 3 or tangent 60 this is obvious but suppose that you don't know what is tangent 60 if you know this special right triangle and if you can draw it in this way then you can easily find out what is tangent 60 tangent was what opposite divided by adjacent here opposite is of course we are looking at the situation from the 60 degrees perspective and according to this angle opposite is square root of 3 and adjacent is 1 so it's gonna be square root of 3 divided by 1 which is equal to guys square root of 3 so the answer in this question is square root of 3 and this is our next question guys in the next question we have sine in the parentheses 2 times arc cosine 4 divided by 5 and what is the value of this again guys let's call this part x okay so our question actually becomes sine 2x, right? Sine 2x is actually 2 times sine x times cosine x. But if you look at here, the very inside, okay? If arc cosine 4 divided by 5 is x, and then if we switch those values, then we are going to have, if this is the case, then cosine x is... 4 divided by 5 guys in such questions always i recommend you to draw a right triangle okay this is 90 degree and this is x and just apply this value on this special right triangle cosine was adjacent divided by hypotenuse so if this is 4 then hypotenuse is 5 from pythagorean theorem it's not difficult to see that this part is also 3 why because 4 square right plus 3 square is gonna be 5 square it's very obvious so from here we can easily find out that part is also 3 and now our special right triangle is known and from here we can find any value and this is what we are looking for 2 times sine x times cosine x 2 times sine x is what if you find out the sine x value on the special right triangle it was opposite divided by hypotenuse so it's gonna be 3 divided by 4, I mean 3 divided by 5 times cosine is 4 divided by 5 and 2 by 3, we have 6, 6 times 4 is 24, 24 divided by 5 times 5 is 25, so the answer is 24 divided by 25 guys in this question. And this is another question guys, and in this question we have y is equal to arc cosine 2x minus 1 divided by 5 
and if x is an integer then how many different values x can take this is a special type of question actually again we're going to apply the same strategy that we did so far so from here guys we can just switch those values right if we switch those values then we're going to have cosine y and that is equal to guys 2x minus 1 divided by 5. we all know that whatever y is okay the outcome is going to be somewhere between negative 1 and positive 1. why because we all know that cosine cosine x y whatever it doesn't matter let's say cosine x is between it takes value between negative 1 and positive 1. so that outcome which is 2x minus 1 divided by 5 is going to be between negative 1 and positive 1. so that means guys we have negative 1 which is less than or equal to 2x minus 1 divided by 5 and that is also less than or equal to 5. why because again that value it doesn't matter whatever that is the outcome is going to be between negative 1 and positive 1. this is positive 1 by the way so here we're going to find out the value of x and if you apply all sides by 5 okay to cross out this 5 from the denominator then we're going to have negative 5 less than or equal to 2x minus 1 and that is less than or equal to plus 5 and if you add plus 1 to all sides okay plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 because i'm going to cross out this okay and in the next step we're going to have negative 5 plus 1 is going to be negative 4 and that is less than or equal to 2x and that is less than or equal to 6 guys and now i have 2x in the middle i need to leave x alone how divide all sides by 2 or multiply all sides by 1 divided by 2 guys if you multiply all sides by 1 divided by 2 then i'm gonna have i'm gonna write the rest to the left so we're gonna have 1 divided by 2 times negative 4 we're gonna have negative 2 and that is less than or equal to x and that is less than or equal to 3 guys and as you can see x can take values between negative 2 and plus 3 and we are asked to find how many different values x can take but at the same time x should be an integer so how many integers we have between negative 2 and plus 3 we have negative 2 negative 1 0 1 2 and 3 and as you can see we have six different integer values for x so in this question the answer is six guys and this is our last question guys in this video we have a little bit more difficult question and we are asked to find the value of x x should be a positive real number this is what we are given to us x should be a positive real number and what is the value of x as you can see we have arc on both sides on the left and on the right and what we can do is this is 2x right so i'm gonna send this to x here and i'm gonna take all right side here guys and once we do it we're gonna have tangent in the parentheses arc cotangent x and that is equal to guys 2x if we call this very inside a then guys we have actually tangent a is 2x right because i'm gonna call the inside of the parentheses a and if this is the case of course then actually we have tangent a as 2x and if the inside of the parentheses is a then what we have here is arc cotangent x is a and again we will switch those values once we do it we're gonna have cotangent a is x so i have two statements guys i have two equation this is the first one actually this one was the first one and the second one is cotangent a is x in such questions guys i recommend you to draw a right triangle okay suppose that this is our right triangle and this is a so if this is a let's apply this cotangent a on this special right triangle so if cotangent a is x actually if adjacent part is x and opposite is one why because in this case cotangent a is x and at the same time let's apply tangent a here tangent a is what one divided by x so one divided by x which is tangent a is actually 2x guys and now we have an equation and we will solve this equation guys 
on the right I can put one in the denominator part here and then apply the cross multiplication right and once you apply the cross multiplication we have one times one which is one is equal to x times 2x guys so we have one is 2x square divide both sides by 2 right so x square I'm gonna continue here at the top right guys so we're gonna have x square is equal to 1 divided by 2 guys and in order to find the value of x I will take the square root of both sides if we take the square root of both sides then I'm gonna have x as actually you might have x as negative and x as positive but because this is given to us here this is saying that x should be a positive number so we will just take its positive real value and square root of 1 divided by 2 is actually if you extend the denominator by square root of 2 then we will have square root of 2 divided by square root of 2 times square root of 2 is going to be square root of 4 which is 2 guys so we can easily see that from here x is square root of 2 divided by 2 which is the final answer i try to solve some challenging questions guys in this topic that you may encounter if you have any questions you can put them in the comment section below thank you for watching and hopefully see you in the next video